<laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're doing our annual Halloween episode. Last year, we did a Halloween episode. It was just one cocktail. We didn't really dress our set. We couldn't really get into it. We didn't have the time. But this year, I wanted to be a little bit bigger, embrace Halloween, be a little bit more theatrical. So this year, I'm bringing you five awesome Halloween cocktails to spice up all your parties. It is party season. This is gonna be the first the first holiday that's gonna have lots of parties, and I want you guys to be have great looking and great tasting cocktails. We are also going to do a giveaway with Staggerly Goods. We are gonna be giving away one of these awesome Murder of Crows aprons. So basically what you gotta do is this. Go to our, go to Instagram, type in Staggerly Goods and follow them. Then come back to the Educated Barflies Instagram and follow us, and then tag two friends in the post where I am wearing this and you will be automatically entered to win. We will run it for a couple of days and then we will announce a uh, winner. So. Do yourself a favor and try and get this apron, and let's get into making the cocktails. First cocktail up is called a Oaxacan Dead. Now, you can't really have a Halloween episode without having uh, really good Halloween cocktails, and what better way to do Halloween cocktails than a zombie? Also, I think that the, the kitschiness of Tiki and the kitschiness of Hollywood are just like a match made in heaven. All right, first thing we're gonna do is half an ounce of lime, half an ounce of grapefruit juice, half an ounce of falernum. We're using velvet falernum. Uh, you can also use the ho house-made falernum if you'd like to. Half an ounce of Tapatio 110. You need to have that overproof spirit in your zombie for sure. Quarter ounce of Chiranda, which is Mexican rum. And it is, uh, it's been being made since 1907. This is the oldest brand of it, I believe, and it actually has a domain attached to it. Half an ounce of mezcal, we're using uh, Lopez Real mezcal, uh, we're using the Espadín, and then one ounce of Blanco tequila. You're gonna take a little, tiny, like three quarters of an ounce of pebble ice, and we're gonna shake it, and this is going to aerate the cocktail, but it's also gonna give it a little bit of dilution and a little bit of chill. It's all gone now, we're gonna take our nice festive uh, vessel, and we're just gonna pour our cocktail into the vessel. We are going to add our ice. You're gonna have like a nice pebble ice snow cap, and then we're gonna garnish. We're gonna do a nice, I wanted to do like a Carmen Miranda hat of garnishes for this guy, so I'm gonna stick uh, some pineapple spears. Well, some pineapple fronds, not spears, I guess. How's that looking, Marius? Good. Is it uneven? Do we need one more? We get some mint. Can't have a tiki garnishes without mint. Well, I mean, I guess you could have tiki garnishes without mint, but it's always nice to have some nice, big old bunch of mint. Give it a little slabby pool, get a little crashy pink. Crushy pants, I almost said crashy pants, but you wanna give it like crushy pants. I'm gonna add some flowers. A little dehydrated citrus wheels. And then last but not least, we got this uh, Surfside Sips made us this little or just made this little bone pick, and I thought it was perfect for Halloween, so I'm just gonna like, I don't know, dress it in there with the bone pick. Oh, I almost forgot! Marius went to a tiki, uh, went to a tiki, it wasn't really like a festival, it was like a, what was it, Marius? It was like a, like a sale, and got these awesome tiki umbrellas, perfect for Halloween, so let's just stick that in there like that, yeah? So, uh, so there you have it, my friends, the Oaxacan Dead with the tiny umbrella that has like a little devil face on it and some and some uh, uh, pumpkin skulls. This is really, I like that. That's a nice, nice festive uh, skull. And that's, now let's taste it again and actually talk through the flavor for a while. I mean, it's like really, it's really nicely balanced. It's not too sweet, but it's got some sweetness to it. You get the smoke of the mezcal. You taste all those agave spirits. What's really great about this Chironda is that it tastes like, uh, almost like a cross between Jamaican rum and rum agricole. It's got like 
kind of grassy, kind of that like lemongrass note to it, but then it also has that like hogo that you kind of associate with that, that kind of rotten banana that you associate with uh, uh, Jamaican rum. Um, and then it's got like a little bit of proof from that Tapatia 110. You can taste all the citrus juices. It's really nice and sharp on the citrus end. We got the grenadine is providing it's a little bit of sugar and it's it's funny because you got the grenadine that's providing sugar, but it's also providing like a savory aspect to it. And then you've got the velvet falernum, which is providing like a spice and 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 sweetness to it as well. So there you have it, my friends, the Oaxacan dead. Next cocktail up is called the Bible John. Bible John is a Scottish serial killer who killed three women between 1968 and 1969. They gave him that name because he was thought to have quoted passages from the Bible that condemned uh, adultery as a motivation for murder. All right, first thing we're gonna do is quarter of an ounce of cherry here in cherry liqueur. We're gonna do one ounce of Campari, one and a half ounces of monkey shoulder scotch. We're building this right in the glass as I like to do. Uh, super simple cocktail. Just give it a nice stir. Now you can stir this as much or as little as you want because it is sitting on a rock of ice and it will dilute over time. So if you want it to be a little, as long as you stir it down to its chilling point, if you want to stir it a little bit more for more dilution or a little bit less, it's completely up to you. Uh, it will evolve as you drink regardless. There we go. Now you see that I have a bottle of Lafroig here because what we're going to do after our orange twist is Rub it around the glass, discard it, and then you see that I have a bottle of Lafroig here because uh, I put some in an atomizer and we're just gonna give it a nice little topper. All right, let's take a sip. Ooh. First thing you get is that orange and that smoke. But you know, it's really nice. You've got the bitterness from the Campari. It's really evened out from the cherry hearing. You get those orange notes and those smoke notes that play really well together and it creates like a very specific flavor. Um, that, my friends, is a killer cocktail. I'm actually gonna give credit to Marius for this one. We had this awesome um, Frankenstein tiki mug that Marius picked up and Marius was like, well, why don't we Frankenstein two tiki drinks together and create a new cocktail? And that's exactly what we did. All right, let's get into it. First thing up. One ounce of lemon juice. Oh, I also have to mention that we are doing specs for two people. This is such a voluminous glass that we are doing uh, a, a mutual cocktail. So the specs are for two. So if you wanna do one just for yourself, use a smaller vessel and cut the specs in half. One ounce of grapefruit, one ounce cinnamon syrup, two ounces fresh pineapple, a scant half an ounce of allspice dram. That means just, just under the line of half an ounce. A half ounce of maraschino liqueur. One ounce of lemon heart 151. An ounce and a half of Campari. Three ounces of Jamaican rum. I'm using Dr. Bird today because because I love it. It's one of my favorite rums that I was introduced to this year. It's just so flavorful. I'm gonna give it just like a tiny little whip shake. This is gonna be a very, very luminous cocktail. So you gotta make sure that you shake it until all the ice is done and don't put too much ice in there. It's gonna spill all over you. Ah. Just drop our cocktail in there. And then we're just gonna pack it in pebble ice. And for this one, I just decided, I forgot this offset. I'm just gonna put it right here. Get a little mint, a little slappy poo. Dress it in there. We have a nice pineapple wedge. Tried to make a little flower with a little lime. And then we'll just do a little couple of nice orchids. Dress it up there. And I got this nice bamboo high impact glass straw from Surfside Sips. They made a bamboo one for tiki cocktails. That's my absolute favorite. Let's take a sip. Whoa! There is a lot going, oh! I almost forgot. I had a little, because it's Halloween, I had a little, there you go, a little skull garnish. Those flavors are just kind of off the chisane. 
You can taste the pineapple. The Campari bitters it down. You've got the spice from the allspice all rim. You've got that big rotted banana flavor of the Dr. Bird rum. Um, it's got so much going on. It's like sweet, but then the Campari kind of pulls that down from the bitterness. You've got a lot of, you got a lot going on with the lemon heart is just like, it's very powerful in here. Now, can you tell me what two cocktails we Frankenstein together to make this wonderful cocktail Frankenstein's monster? I will see you guys in the comments. Check it out. Tell me what you guys think I did. Let's get on to the next one. Cocktail number four is called a Booberry Fix. Now, the inspiration for this cocktail was a General Mills cereal uh, produced in 1971 called Booberry. Uh, they made a whole line of monster cereals. One's called Count Chocula, one's called Frankenberry, and one's called Booberry. And I just really wanted to, I mean, something that I ate when I was a kid and I just, it's very nostalgic for me and I thought it'd be great for a Halloween episode. I'm using the mellow corn here because the body of the cereal is made with corn. Um, and then uh, little blueberry bites that are made out of marshmallow. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is one ounce of blueberry syrup. You will have to look in the show notes to get the specs of that. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, one and a half ounces of mellow corn. And then you wanna just do like a little dash of allspice dram. You could put it in a dasher bottle if you want. I'm just gonna use the top of my jigger and just like, just pour a little, boop, just a little bit. Add a little Scotia ice. Give it a nice whip shake. Dump it into oh, our like a big old bunch like of mint. Some... You want that nice mint sort of soup when you are drinking this drink. To garnish, add a couple of mint sprigs. Give it a crushy poo. Give it a little slappy pants. Stick it right in there. Let's take a sip. Oh yeah. So you know what's great about that is that the mellow corn doesn't actually dominate. You can taste that corn whiskey flavor, but then you have the kind of savory sweetness from the um, from the uh, blueberry. Uh, you have the savory sweetness from the blueberry and then the lemon to sort of give it that nice acid. It's very, very well balanced drink. It's just like you've got the corn whiskey, you got the blueberry, the acid from the lemon just sort of balances it all out. It's not too sweet, it's not too tart, it is perfect. So there you have it, the blueberry fix. Last cocktail up is called the Sangre de los Flores. It is a Day of the Dead inspired cocktail that I really wanted to do because Day of the Dead is the Mexican holiday that runs from October 31st to November 2nd where family members and friends get together to honor their loved ones and help them into their spiritual journey. Um, it is a uh, Mexican Halloween festivity, so why not put it in our Halloween episode? All right, let's get into making the drink. Half an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of hibiscus marigold syrup, one and a half ounces of blood orange, half an ounce of Aperol, and then an ounce and a half of Espadine Mezcal from Lopez Real. We can give ourselves a nice little Scotia crushed. Doing a lot of crushed ice cocktails today, doing a lot of tiki inspired stuff. You give it a nice whip shake. I got this nice tiki cocktail from Monk Tiki and it is a Day of the Dead inspired uh, cocktail glass so I, or tiki glass. So I wanted to make sure that we used it today. I got this a year ago for this episode because I knew we would be doing it and I'm just so happy to use it. And I think it's still available at Monk Tiki. So uh, in our show notes, just follow the link and you can see if you can get one for yourself. And we're just gonna pour our cocktail in. And then, as we do, give it a nice snow cone. And then we're gonna garnish with some flowers, some marigolds, and it's kind of bring it all back full circle. I think three marigolds will be good. All right, let's give it a taste. So hibiscus, basically to make the hibiscus syrup, you make hibiscus tea, you put a quarter cup of marigolds into it and you do a one-to-one -one simple with the hibiscus tea and it's like a nice savory flavor. It's enough sugar to balance out the lime, but it's not super, super, super sweet, but it, it is very balanced. You've got the uh, blood orange juice. If you're not familiar with blood orange juice, it's a little bit more tart than like a navel orange would be. So you've got that sort of tartness, but it's also sweet. It's like sweet and tart. And then of course you have the Aperol making things a little bit bitter. And you've got the mezcal 
which is a espadine, so it's gonna be like, it has a very little bit of smoke, but it's mostly like a savory, sort of citrusy kind of flavor, if that makes sense. This is a wonderful balance, not too sweet, not too tart cocktail. So there you have it, my friends, the Sangre de los Flores. So there you have it, five cocktails to spice up your Halloween. Remember to enjoy responsibly, and if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash The Educated Barfly. We've got good, exclusive content there that you guys should be checking out because there are videos that go there that never are going to come here, and you will learn lots of good stuff. There are tiers from $1 to $50 for every single person, so just go check it out. And then uh, check us out on Teespring. We've got uh, our own little merch going on that helps us out a little bit. Uh, and then also in the show notes, just check out our affiliate links and everything. Uh, again, we are sponsored by Staggerly Goods. They made this awesome uh, Murder of Crows apron uh, for Halloween. So uh, check out them. Uh, check out them. It doesn't make any sense. How about check them out at staggerlygoods.com. And if you want 20% off at checkout, go to uh, just Barfly SLG20. That will give you 20% off. A lot of you guys have been clicking the link and buying aprons at full price, but you could get 20% off. Barfly SLG20 at checkout. Do yourself a favor and I'll see you guys on another time.